first uh, the title uh, of the, our paper. So, Hachi ideal and spectrum of isolated hypersurface singularity. Mm. Uh, the first talk, in the first talk, I'm gonna overview of uh, in this four lecture. So, uh, what is in this talk? Uh, this talk is uh, actually the explaining our the result uh, written by uh, Sung Jo Jung and In Kim Kim and Morin Saito and uh, myself. So the first uh, in the first talk uh, I'm gonna overview this paper. And second talk, uh, as a title said, uh, Hachi ideal. Uh, Sung Jo Jung explaining what is Hachi ideal. And the next time, uh, I'm gonna explain what is spectrum and how to calculate. So in the last time, I'm gonna explain. Uh, Ingun will give us uh, some examples in our papers. Uh, in our paper. So uh, the first talk, actually, I'm not giving any definition. Just give you some uh, what the Hatch idea is, what the Hatch spectrum is, or what the spectrum is. Mm. The goal of this uh, paper is uh, uh, finding some relation between the Hatch idea and spectrum of hypersurface singularities. Uh, the motivation is the follow. Mm. Two years, uh, long times ago, uh, there is two important objects, both player idea and spectrum, uh, symbolic spectrum, or sometimes it's called the Hatch spectrum. Uh, both are uh, very important. One is for bioresonance geometry, the other is uh, uh, in singularity theory. Buddha, uh, Nero Buddha, actually, uh, in his thesis, he observed some relation between these two objects and he proved that both player idea gives some information on uh, stimulant spectrum or high spectrum. After then uh, uh, Moriko Saito we, uh, he with uh, Moriko Saito uh, explained it uh, with, uh, more precisely. And then, uh, recently, um, four years ago, ago uh, in the archive, uh, Mustata and Popa uh, generalized the uh, multiplier idea, uh, which is called the uh, Hatch idea in hypersurface cases. Uh, then, very natural question will be uh, what is the relation between Hatch idea and spectrum? So, uh, Nero, Nero Budo, um, said uh, multiplayer uh, multiplayer idea gives some information, part of information of spectrum. Then my uh, my question was that uh, Hachi idea gives uh, all the information of spectrum. That's my question. Actually, this is not a question of mine. Uh, originally, uh, three years ago, Ustata and Popa gave a talk in the Vigna. And uh, in the talk, Nero asked, uh, Nero ask uh, uh, the same question. And all right, uh, I I'm also very interested in that question. That was actually originally uh, Buddha's question. At the time, uh, Mustata said uh, he he had uh, no idea what the relation between those that. Anyhow, let me explain. Uh, spectrum and Hatch idea. Mm, this is not a, a definition, just uh, what it is. So when you have a hyperplane, a hypersurface singularity, then we can uh, find some analytic invariant, local invariant. That is uh, actually the give, uh, giving some information on the uh, Singularity that looks like uh, the summation of uh, integer coefficient 
with a fractional power polynomial series, uh, fractional power polynomial. Here's the example of what it looks like. So when you have a uh, two variable polynomial, x cubed plus y cubed, then in the center, they have a isolated singularity. And the spectrum of that is uh, looks like a t to the 2 over 3 plus 2t plus t to the 4 over 3. Actually, they can, that is a, uh, uh, so we, we are omitting actually the uh, coefficient 1 and power 1. So uh, the coefficient of t to the 2 over 3, uh, it has a coefficient 1. Uh, 2t has actually power 1, and so, and so on. Then what is the important data? So the data is actually these two numbers, uh, the coefficient, integer coefficient n beta, and the rational number beta, the pair of this. The collection of pair, this gives a uh, data of a uh, nilla fiber. More precisely, that gives the information of a monodromy and hatch structure of middle fiber. Sometimes it's called a vanishing cycle or nearby cycle in uh, cohomology. So, um, so, especially our paper is about the uh, isolated singularity case. In that case, the coefficients uh, and beta is non-negative number integer. Uh, you're gonna see why is a uh, integer number. Moreover, so why is why that is a uh, uh, positive non-negative. You will see. Uh, the data actually in the isolated case, all the, since all the uh, numbers and beta is a uh, non-negative, so well, we can express that data in uh, as a non-decreasing sequence of uh, betas. Uh, you will see again the example soon. So, um, so that's that's gonna be the first type of a uh, spectrum, which is uh, given by a steam brink. And later, the uh, fractional power polynomial or fractional Laurent polynomial type uh, is given by uh, the other uh, many authors, uh, Steamring, Saito, and, and Benata Lose. But uh, in our case, uh, this type is uh, actually used uh, by Saito. Uh, he called it uh, Steamring uh, spectrum. Spectrum is uh, very important. Uh, in many way, uh, because uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, really related to many classical, local, and global invariant. For instance, locally, it's uh, related to LCT. Many people uh, classify a uh, singularity in terms of uh, LCT. Or also, as you know, multiplier idea it gives a uh, LCT, and moreover, our motivation says multiplier gives some relation, uh, some information of a hot spe uh, spectrum. Sometimes it's called a hot spectrum and more uh, spectrum, uh, spectrum. Hot ideal, and that is generalized to a uh, hot ideal. So yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Day and also related to B function. Globally, uh, ah, locally, still locally, it is uh, related to, it gives a uh, million number. Globally, it, million number actually uh, partial information of uh, Euler number. That could be generalized to much more uh, as a characteristic class. Um, as far as I know, it's the most uh, generalized version is the group middle classes. That's a uh, 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 the class 
actually can be calculated by a uh, spectrum. Okay. So in, in such a sense, the uh, spectrum is very important. Then what is Hatch idea? That is an uh, idea shift. It's not an idea. It's an idea shift on complex manifold X uh, with a uh, even Q divisor D. Uh, as you see, there's a, a sub-index of P, which is a integer. But uh, locally, if you look at uh, a point in X, the manifold, uh, a point in manifold X, uh, you can find a function F, which uh, defining uh, divisor D. So you can rewrite D as a uh, alpha times uh, divisor of F locally. If you look at the germ of the shift, the uh, stock of the shift, then you really get the idea. So from now on, I'm gonna call that uh, just the idea, Hatch idea. That is, uh, once you've uh, fixed a function, holomorphic function f on x, uh, then actually uh, you could choose a holomorphic function jump f. Then you can say uh, ideal f is determined by f then two numbers, p and alpha. p is an integer number, alpha is a rational number. Here's an example. So if we have a possible singularity, uh, which is a two variable uh, and given by x squared plus y cubed. In this case, uh, I'm gonna, I, I made a kind of table uh the column is a uh, uh, people zero and one case and the uh, low is a uh, row row is a uh, alpha uh, varies so when p equals zero and alpha is a uh, alpha is a number between zero and one over six in that case that is the ideal generated by one. That is the local ring, C, X, comma, Y. Here, the, the, this parent this is actually mm, a polynomial. Uh, you, many of you know already, but uh, I recall it that is a power series, converging power series. All right, so, <clears throat> If you vary alpha again, when you fix uh, p equals zero, you can vary alpha more from zero, uh, one over six to five over six. It still have a, the idea is generated by one. And if you vary more from five to six, uh, five over six to one, the idea changes. It is generated by, the, by x comma y. That's gonna be the maximal idea. When power of p equal one, alpha. Uh, when alpha is the number between zero and one over six, that is the same. Uh, however, alpha varies more, one over six to five over six. Then the, the generator changes x comma y square okay uh the final alpha is uh the number between five or six to one then you are gonna have a uh, three uh generators actually i uh, read, uh i wrote here one more case mm, so after then uh, there are many generators so i just uh, put uh, uh on this case uh, p equal two and alpha is between one over six to one. In that case, uh, we have a uh, one, two, three, four, four generator. But you, uh, what I want to show is the last generator. 
here alpha changes then the i the ideal changes but smoothly continuously changes okay do you have any questions so far all right uh hatch ideal actually um defined in terms of d module and hatch module uh, in several ways mm, it is multiplier idea actually defined for even even for ideal cases not even for uh hypersurface case but a uh, hachi idea for idea is uh introduced very recently but still it doesn't uh have uh, that much good properties yeah proved yeah it could have a uh, many properties but uh, we do not know that much about that uh, also hachi idea case alpha is the term uh is defined only between zero and one and p is a uh, uh, any positive non-negative number Hachi idea also write continuous along alpha, as you see in the previous previous example. Uh, you see the p equals zero case. Look at any other case, well, any cases. Alpha changes from some number to the other number, but that the last number contained in this case that in so this means a uh, right continuous. However, right continuity does not mean a uh, piecewise uh, constancy. As you see the uh, in the last case, alpha uh, i two alpha z. When p equal two case, the last generated changes uh, continuously. So the idea changes changes continuously. Oh, uh, that is, uh, yeah, absolutely. This ideal, uh, this wise continuous. However, that does not mean constant, as you see in the last one. Uh, so. Maybe you, as I said, uh, because I said the uh, Hatch idea is a gen kind of a generalization of a multiplier idea, so you you are you're gonna imagine uh, the properties of a, a multiplier idea. In that case, idea uh, decrease, but uh, Hatch idea does not decrease along alpha. Might not usually does not. Uh, decrease. So, in the case of a multiplier idea, we could uh, define jumping number, but we cannot define jumping number in this case because it's not decreasing. Yeah, of course, uh, in the front of the Hachi idea, you could uh, define a jumping number set a few times, but later, um, that's not possible in this way let me let me compare more now this is better hachi idea and multiplier idea i'm gonna compare these two so what so why why hachi idea is a generalization of a multiplier idea Hatch idea, uh, when p equals zero in Hatch idea, that is almost the same with the multiplier idea case. The only difference appears the, the discontinued point because that is because a multiplier idea is a left continuous, Hatch idea is a right continuous. However, multiplier idea and Hatch ideas uh share many 
good properties. For instance, uh, vanishing theorem uh, for device cases, because a uh, Hatch idea in the Hatch idea is uh, defined on device cases and prove the many good properties, um, but not yet proved in uh, ideal cases. Also, um, we can generalize. So, multiply ideal defines a uh, LCT, low chemical threshold. So we can define fifth generalized version of uh, LCT also. Fifth uh, P low gen uh, low chemical threshold. And Hatch idea has a better property than multiplier idea because multiplier idea cannot tell us if that is a smooth or not. But Hatch idea uh, gives a smoothness uh, of a uh, operand. And now let's compare the multiplier ion spectrum. That is a result of a good and later on uh, with a cycle. And Gudu gave a theorem uh, when so he, this is a multiplayer ideal case. So he defined the sum rational number alpha and uh, uh, the negative integer m alpha by a multiplier idea. So he called that uh, inner jumping number and an inner jumping multiplicity. Of, uh, in that case, uh, those two numbers coincide with the Hodge spectrum, uh, Simbring spectrum or Hodge spectrum. Yeah, in this case, it should be Simbring spectrum. Um, However, the inter, uh, inner jumping number and you know jumping multiplicity is uh, uh, defined by some after modifying uh, multiplier idea. Uh, actually, he used a multiplier idea of uh, inner jumping uh, of ideal shifts. So, but uh, in the case of uh, isolated singularity case, if it has uh, isolated case, then actually the, that inner jumping number is just in a uh, uh, just jumping number. You know, jumping multiplicity is just a uh, jumping uh, jumping multiplicity. So that's the same. You will see uh, some example soon. Uh, as I said, jumping things is a uh, manipulated. Uh, coming from manipulated multiplier ideas. Um, in this case, actually, the theorem is not restricted to isolated singularities. It's, uh, um, it works for all the hypersurface singularities. Later, Udo and Saito uh, were written uh, in terms of mixed Hachimajo. Here's the example. Uh, when you have a cost of singularity, as I show you, uh, the first uh, table shows the Hachi spectrum, uh, uh, no, 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 Hachi idea. So as I said, the, when P equals zero case, that gives, uh, that is the same with a uh, multiplier idea. However, as you see, one over six, look at the number five over six. Here, um, the idea is just a gen, uh, ring itself generated by one. But multiplier idea case, it's not. It is generated by, by x comma y. That is uh, the uh, uh, one, uh, five over six to one case of a uh, Hatch idea. Okay, that's a uh, left continuity and right continuity.
the, as I said, uh, five over six, that is a jumping number, first jumping number. And the jumping multiplicity is defined by the, uh, the change, uh, the difference between the two ideas, the dimension of two ideas. So the first, the, the, before the five over six, that was uh, uh, the ring generated by one. And after then, that is generated by, by x comma y. The quotient of that gives uh, some vector space, which has dimension one. That is multi uh, jumping multiplicity. All right. One narrow set, that is here the jumping multiplicity Jumping multiplicity one is the coefficient of uh, t2 to 5 over 6. Then 5 over 6 is actually the first jumping number here. Later, uh, in terms of uh, spectrum, the first coefficient is uh, jumping, uh, instead of jumping number, it is called a uh, spectral number, uh, spectral coefficient, and 5 over 6 is uh, called a uh, spectral number. First spectral number. So, what what changes? Uh, multiplier idea actually gives a partial data. What does that mean? That is that holds that gives only the information when alpha is the number between zero and one. Partial idea has more data than multiplier ideas. That is uh, absolutely true because uh, from Haji idea, we, we can get the multiplier, we can recover multiplier ideas. Then the question, that's your question, as I said, uh, Haji idea recover spectrum, is that true? <laughs> so uh, simply, we could think of uh, the number uh, P plus alpha. That is the all the rational number non-negative rational numbers. And moreover, the spectral numbers of a spectrum, in spectrum, mm, that is, a, that is a, all the rational numbers. So we could uh, ideas, patch ideas uh, for P e plus alpha case, but the problem is this, patch idea is not decreasing along P plus alpha. The number p plus alpha, even for the isolated cases. Also, jumping number, if that is uh, the case, then the, the either decreasing case, then of course that is uh, infinite. It could have uh, infinitely many, as you see, because the uh, ideal changes uh, continuously. Mm. Also. And yeah, moreover, the when whenever p increase, hatch idea increase, uh, hatch idea decrease. So we could have an infinite many. It's continuous pointing. Um, then how we can get the hatch uh, sequence of idea uh, giving spectrum? That is that was the key point. So here's the what we did at the beginning uh, with the same setting in CN. Here, F is a function jump and given, uh, given by F, uh, the diversity is uh, given by F. We defined new idea that is uh, I prime here. That is a uh, hatch idea, P, uh, IP, alpha Z, plus Jacobi idea. Uh, that is sometimes called Jacobi idea, called uh, sometimes a Miller, Miller idea. Then, after then, we can. Uh, we want to define a jumping multiplicity here. So we quotient 
uh, i prime beta by i prime beta plus very small number epsilon that we define the uh, some integer number that would be the dimension complex dimension of that oh uh, here uh, there's a type of sorry uh, m prime beta is a uh, here this is the dimension of this idea that is the number of uh, m beta Okay, so with this, we define the Hatch ideal spectrum as PF, uh, prime F, uh, which is the same shape, M prime beta and T, uh, T to the beta, the summation of that. That is our, our first trial. Um, so uh, we succeeded in the case of weighted homogeneous uh, isolated singularity case. In this case, uh, sibling spectrum was the same with this idea, uh, this spectrum, sp prime. But we couldn't have any idea how to generalize this uh, idea to more general cases. For instance, like um, uh, yeah, uh, semi-weighted case or non-degenerate case. Yeah, because that is the uh that is i i prime what it did what it defined uh is not decreasing well, why that is problem if that is not decreasing then uh we can we cannot quotient that idea by the the next one next idea so um the ISO, uh, we had a, we need another uh, another idea. So in the same setting, Moriko Saito actually uh, did uh, the next work. So can I, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just curious about the. Uh, sorry, I'm a little confused about what things are and are not right continuous. You said before that the Hodge ideal is right continuous, right? Yes, but uh, the, 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 like the, some of the invariants you define always do decrease, and some of the invariants you define don't decrease. You have uh, this problem the, here with the i beta prime that it might not decrease. Oh, uh, okay. What they what they find is a uh, weighted homogeneous case. Uh, it decreases. The ideal i prime is decreased. All the time. Uh -huh. but, but sorry, the, the Hodge ideal always does decrease, right? Or no? No, no. No? Oh, no. But, oh, I see. I, I see. You, you said that it was right continuous, but you didn't say it was necessarily uh, uh, continuous in, in what direction. It might sort of uh, jump uh, upwards sometimes. Uh, and that jump, it's, uh, it changes continuously. It is oh, right continuous, see. but it's not con uh, constant. I see. Okay, and, and, and but it, but its slope might not be decreasing. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it might not decrease. It might not. Okay, decrease. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that helps. Yeah, the first idea, the point, key point is uh, the uh, that to solve that problem, we add a uh, Miller Miller idea, Jacobi idea. We add a uh, Jacobi idea with the uh, that is uh, that made the uh, ideal i prime decrease. Still uh, continu uh, continuous and also uh, constant. So um, adding this uh, idea, Jacobi idea, the decreasing stop at some point. Okay, so we could define as prime. Uh, expect as p prime but the problem is uh, that only works for weighted homogeneous case so Saito actually gave another idea he add uh, the i uh, hatch ideas after 
all the hot ideas after beta. Beta here beta is p plus alpha. After p plus alpha, all the he add all the beta. And uh, Morico side so uh, uh so he we actually uh I define the we use the uh, new notation here more this gives this gives a more clear uh notion i h i beta and the beta uh, the number m here i first miss the uh, dimension of this idea the quotient idea okay uh, i sorry about that so that is a positive the negative number okay and then we define the hot ideal spectrum okay uh, in this case this uh, uh, defi definition is the work for all the isolated singularities because i uh, i h i that idea is not decreasing anymore and also it stopped at point at some point which is uh which becomes a partial f jacobian idea okay so we define the hatch spectrum or hatch ideal spectrum here similarly uh to compare with the other we could uh, define another spectrum so if you know the turing number the difference is here instead of uh, partial f we put more f that is a Turina algebra, a Turina idea. So you, after you adding this uh, F here, then we could define uh, this I, T, J, and define the number here, the quotient as a dimension of the quotient idea. Okay, uh, sorry about this again. This is, uh, I, I missed the dimension here, dimension of this idea. Uh, and then we could define Turing subspectrum. Okay. Then the result uh, of our previous work that means just say Hatchi spectrum, Turing subspectrum, and the, the spectrum that which we defined uh, at the first at the beginning, and the spectrum, similar spectrum in the Weighted the homogeneous isolated singular case, all these are the same. Because uh, Turing algebra, a uh, Turing idea, equal Hatch idea, uh, Miller uh, Jacobi idea, the so if and only if that is weighted homogeneous case. All right. Then, uh, the uh, spectrum, uh, here the Hatch ideal spectrum. So the Turing sub spectrum idea is well defined in isolated case, any cases, because we could make a, a we made a, that uh, sequence of ideas with uh, decreasing sequence of ideas, which stops at some point. And then, uh, the shape of that is a fractional power polynomial with a positive integer coefficient. As I said, uh, so this kind of shape can be uh, written another way. For instance, uh, the, pre the first example, we had a spectrum e to the 2 over 3 plus 2t plus e to the 4 over 3. In this case, we this data is exactly the same, two over three, comma, that is the power. The next power is one, but it has a coefficient of two, so we write one twice. And then four over three. These two data are, are the same, but uh, this kind of uh, expression only works for idea, uh, isolated singularities. Of course, uh, we our cases are isolated singularity cases, so we're going to use uh, this kind of expression. 
sometimes. Original uh, stimulus uh, stim spectrum is actually a bit different by what? So uh, instead of two over three, he said that is a negative one over three, one third. And instead of one, he said zero. Instead of four, four over three, one third. This was the original type of a steam ring spectrum. This is just, yeah. All right. So our our for our spectrums, uh, which are the for the isolated singularity cases. So we rewrite all the spectrum in terms of a non-decreasing sequence of rational numbers like this, then what happens? The index, so uh, see the last uh, index, alpha mu, here the alpha mu, and the last one is alpha mu. But uh, these two has a uh, upper index or so. Alpha mu is a million number, and tau is a, means a Turina number. So the number here is our, the same, uh, all the numbers are the same with the million number. The total number of the uh, total, that total is uh, uh, how many numbers are here? That's a million number and two million numbers. Inequality hold. Million number is uh, bigger than, bigger or equal than uh, or to two million number or always. So uh, the equality uh, before the Turina number, until Turina numbers, all these numbers are the same. For instance, the alpha one, alpha one hi, alpha one tj, all these three numbers are the same, the next number the same, until what? Uh, tj, okay, until tau. These are the theorem. On uh, the same setting, we found the uh, cases, the hot idea spectrum is not the same with the spectrum. In the multiplicity two case, these two, uh, of course, if you, uh, as I said, um, Million number, if million number and trillion number are the same, what does that mean? That in that case, the um, Miller algebra, Miller idea is the same with the Turin idea. Thus, that is equivalent to say uh, weighted homogeneous case. So this, all these cases are not the weighted homogeneous case. Uh, so we should find out the case, in the case, these two numbers are different. So uh, in that case, uh, uh, alpha one, this is the first spectral number. And uh, when that number is uh, here, n is dimension of uh, the n, half of then minus one, the when the first, Spectral number is uh, bigger than the center minus one. In that case, uh, these two uh, spectrums are different. And also, this is a little bit uncomplicated case. And then, uh, in the case of a uh, multiplicity bigger than two, in that case, uh, uh, we should think of a weighted, a semi-weighted homogeneous case because a weighted homogeneous case is all the time the same or non-degenerate non Newton pole uh, boundary. So in this case, this, if uh, the first condition satisfied, then those two spectrum different. The second one, if this kind of, uh, the second condition satisfied, then these two spectrums are different. Uh, we use the many notations here. 
uh, I cannot explain the uh, whole all of these uh, theorems in the first uh, in the first talk. Uh, you will see uh, in the second, third, and fourth talk what this theorem means. And yeah, let me say something. Um, the proof is given by comparing filtrations and um, uh, st uh, statement with that, which I wrote here is a kind of summary of a theorems in the uh, uh, Sungjo, uh, Jung, Kim, Yun, Saito. Uh, these are uh, just, uh, I com combined all the theorems uh, there and uh, write down. In this, all these cases uh, are just say the equality fails. Of course, these cases are not all the cases which the equality fails. Well, we couldn't find all the cases because uh, the others are too difficult, complicated. Uh, Moreover, we do not know any idea. We have no idea actually how to deal uh, non-isolated singularity case. Of course, in that case also, uh, Hatcha idea and spectrum both are defined. Um, here, uh, Maybe to explain the theorem, we should uh, give an example which this, to, this equality fails, but uh, instead of that, uh, that will be explained in the fourth talk. So here I just give you uh, equality hold, weighted homogeneous case. Here's the cursor, the table of height ideal. Okay. Now, instead of a multiplier idea, I wrote here uh, H, uh, I, H, uh, H, I, uh, L. Um, this, these ideas are coming from the Hatchi idea. So, recording that, the, the definition of that, the summation after beta of a uh, Hatchi idea and then plus Jacobi idea. Turina number is used uh, Turina idea, which is uh, uh, Jacobi idea plus original function. The last one is just uh, not, not considering. Okay, in this case, uh, we just need to add Jacobi idea with this uh, uh, Hatch idea. So the first one, the uh, idea generated by one plus Jacobi idea is just the same. That is uh, uh, idea generated by one. Idea generated by X comma Y plus idea generated by Jacobi idea. Jacobi idea generated by X comma Y squared Okay, so it doesn't change. So it is x comma y. So the next one, x comma y squared, that is the same with the Jacobi idea. The next one is x juggle or x squared, comma x y, comma y cubed. That is bigger than uh. Jacobi idea that is uh, x comma y squared. So uh, from now, all these uh, ideas becomes just uh, x comma y squared. All right. So we have uh, three different ideas here. If you measure the difference between these two, uh, the first uh, jumping happens uh, when beta is uh, 5 over 6. So the we, we calculate the multiplicity. That is the dimension, which I missed. 
the front uh, slide. And uh, that is the uh, original I uh, ring divided by x comma y, which is the dimension which has dimension one. That is n uh, over six. That's a, a spectral multiplicity coincide with spectral multiplicity. The next one, this jumping happens the uh, seven over six. Then the uh, comparing the previous idea and the next idea between uh, uh, at seven over six, the dif uh, difference of the dimension is uh, one, and is uh, that coincide with the on uh, some uh, multi um, spectral multiplicity. So, Hatcher's ideal spectrum is given by one comma uh, one times e to the five over six plus one plus e to the five uh, seven over six. That is coincide with steam brink spectrum. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any questions? So I have a question. So you mentioned that uh, these things can be done directly for a D module. How is this done? Uh, yeah, you will see the, uh, the next talk. <laughs> Ah, yeah, okay. yeah, so okay. yeah, okay, okay, I'm waiting again for the yeah. next talk. Other questions? Uh, yeah, you mentioned that, uh, so that not much is known about the non isolated singularity case. So, even in, I don't know, for my, my favorite non isolated singularity is like, you know, f of xyz equals x times y times z. Like, that one is pretty simple. Can we say anything in that case? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Okay. So, so. <laughs> no, I'm just, just kidding. No, but. Okay. But questions? because there are these uh, things like um, um, Tom Sebastiani, in this case, uh -huh. you can. In this case, uh, so we, we, we could calculate the uh, Hatch ideals and Hatch spectrum, uh, uh, similar spectrum, both of them, and uh, for many cases, for non isolated cases. But uh, we do not know how to relate them because, uh, I, in the case of isolated singularity, was possible because uh, if we add a um, Jacobi ideal, then the uh the the, uh, the Jacobi ring has a finite dimension so we could uh 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 give some more filtration on that which is given actually by a uh, hatch idea but in the case of a non-isolated case we do not even if we you add a Jacobi idea it's it's not a finite dimension Jacobi Ring is not finite dimension, so we need something more. That's okay. a, yeah, a different. Thanks. Other questions? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, so in the case when you can relate a Hodge idea with a Steinberg spectrum, so does this give you some new insights of the the classical spectrum? Like for example, some things are easier to prove from Hodge ideal point of view. All right, that's kind of be relative, I think. Um, uh, if I know a spectrum more than Hatch ideal, so actually for me, it's a converse. I, do, I did not know uh, Hatch ideal that much because uh, that is that was quite quite new object. And uh, spectrum is quite, uh, Hatch, spe uh, spectrum is studied quite long time. So we know more than, uh, more, on spectrum, so actually I understand the Hatch idea by spectrum more, more like. <laughs> so if you know more on Hatch idea, then I guess uh, uh, please let me know what uh, what Hatch idea, uh, Hatch spectrum, uh, spectrum has, uh, yeah, in terms of Hatch idea, yeah. You... For example. 
just for the calculation, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the calculation, yeah. Oh. Very easily. So that will, using your connection, that can give you the spec calculation spec spectrum very, in a very easy way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, yes. That's, uh, that, that's a benefit. Yeah, one of the benefits. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, okay, thanks. Thank you. Other questions? Let's thank uh, Professor Yun once more.